Happy Wednesday, kindergarten. This is Mrs. Richardson. Today, we are going to read Elephants Swim by Linda Capus Riley, the author, and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. So what do you notice on the front cover of the book? Yes. Can you tell that there is an elephant in the water? Yes. And so we're going to read to find out how animals move in the water. Elephant swim. Elephants swim with their trunks held high. So why do you think that elephants keep their trunks out of the water when they swim? Okay. Yeah, they may not be able to breathe if they put their trunks in the water. Kangaroos, kangaroos sorry, swim, but their babies stay dry. Platypuses use their tails like rudders. Armadillos walk along the water. Tigers swim to get out of the heat. It's a good thing they can keep cool. Jaguars scoop up fish to eat. <clears throat> sea otters sleep in the cradle of kelp. Squids swim backwards, jet propelled. So as I'm reading, I want you to try to remember one, some of the animals and how they move through the water. Hippos sink to the bottom to sleep. Wow, I did not know that. They sleep in the water. Wildebeest wade through the wade where the water's not deep. Pelicans plunge straight down from the sky. Hmm. I wonder what a pelican wants in the water. What do you think they want? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if they want food to eat. They want some fish to eat. Caribou glide with their heads held high. Polar bears paddle with the greatest of ease. Sea turtles run straight to the sea. Sorry, sea turtle babies run straight to the seas. Walruses sing as they swim along. Whales do too. Hmm, that's interesting. How about you? What do you notice on this picture? Hmm, how is the way that you move in the water the same as some of the animals in the book? And how is the way um, different from the animals. Hmm. And so I have one more question. Why was it a good book for the author to put all these animals in the same book? What do you think? Hmm. They all have something in common. What do they all have in common? Hmm. Yes, they, they all live or live in or near the water. So that's a good reason to put them all in the same book. Hmm. They give us more facts about each animal too in the back of the book. So I'm not going to read that. <laughs> this is a cool book. I hope you learned some interesting facts 
about some animals. I definitely did not know that hippos sleep in the water. So that was interesting to read. Thank you so much, Kindergarten, for listening to this story. I hope you have an amazing day and an even better week. Till next time.